Okay, now that we have our Mertec GV60 remote control connected and paired with our fireplace, let's download the iFlame app and connect the two of these together. So the first thing we'll do, since we're using an Android device today, is we'll go to the Play Store. Of course, if we were using an Apple device, we would go to the App Store. So let's look for the app, and we're looking for iFlame. We'll connect to that, first one that comes up, and we will let it install. Once it's installed, you'll see the little open tile pop up. We want to click that, and you can see the iFlame app comes up. Now the first thing we need to do is to put in a username or an email. That's if we already have the account set up, but since this is the first time, let's go ahead and create an account. So now we need to put in a username. We'll call it mdemo for Mertech Demo, and then a password. Now password has to be six characters minimum. It can be more. It can have upper and lowercase letters. It can have numerals, but you don't want to leave a space in there. And then we want to put in an email, and that email needs to be uh, the one that you'll use most often and the one that you want to sign up with, and we'll press in sign up. Now once we've done that, almost immediately you'll see the confirmation screen come up. Now there's going to be a confirmation code that you need to put in, and that's for security reasons, of course. And it's going to come to the email that we just used to create this account. Sometimes it's helpful to have a secondary device to get that email on. You have 90 seconds from the time that it pops that message up to input your confirmation code. Your email is going to come from iCloud. So now we have our iCloud email that gives us our confirmation code. And we'll press confirm and it says success. The account is now set up. So, once that's done, the next step is we want to put in a zone. Now typically I put in zones for whichever location I'm at. If you have a secondary home, um, if you want to do office and home, if you want to do different areas, indoor, outdoor, whatever, you do need to put in a zone for it to find you. So today let's put in one new zone and it's asking for location access. On an iOS device, this is not necessary, but on Android, you must put in location in order for it to work. So you have a couple of choices. You can allow it all the time or only when using the app. So I'm gonna press allow. And it tells me, do I wanna request that again? Now I show you this screen because if you have your GPS turned on and working, it's gonna find your location automatically but I've got my GPS turned off, so that means I need to go and manually put in the zone. We'll call this the uh, demo zone, and it's gonna ask for zone location, and we'll just call it Hendit for now, uh, zone address, and add the zone. So now you can see that zone is put in for demo. So let's click on that. And then it says pair your remote. Well, the great thing about this is it automatically finds the remote. We call this tap and go because we suggest that you tap your phone to your remote in order for them to connect. But as you can see here, I didn't tap them. You just need to be relatively close. So here we're less than a foot apart, so it finds it immediately. Let's name our fireplace. Uh, let's just call it Ken's for this one. And again, you may want to name that to be, you know, something like Den Fireplace or Office or whatever. So we'll just call this one Ken. It says it's Mertek. Serial number is optional. I'll skip over that. And the company it was purchased from, and then connect. Now as it connects, you can see the little blue bubbles bounce back and forth until it actually makes the connection. Now you can see it's connected to the Ken Fireplace. It's the Mertex series. You'll see the Bluetooth icon, and we have great signal strength there. So let's click on that tile. You'll see the little blue bubbles bounce back and forth and now we're connected to this remote. Now we have on, off, we have timer function, settings, light, fan, and flame. Your fireplace may not have all of those options and you can look at the instructions for the Mertec remote and find out how to delete those. But for this demo we're just going to show them working. So the first thing we'll do is let's turn the unit on. So when I press on, you're going to see the unit it's turned the fireplace on and you'll see embers start to fly. That's just a visual reference that the fireplace is actually on. And you see the little blue flame inside the circle come on as a secondary notification. 
When I press off, of course it turns the unit off, as you can see. The embers stop, the little blue flame goes away. So now let's go to setting a temperature on there. So let's run it up to 88 degrees, I think is what I set. You'll see the remote start to respond. It's going to climb up to 99 degrees and then count back down to that temperature. The reason it does that is the two units have to sync for the temperature in order for it to talk to it and get it to do exactly what it wants it to do. So you can see it starts climbing back down now to the temperature that we set and it's reading that it's 88 degrees. Once that quits flashing, it'll go back to giving you actual room temperature. Now if I press another function while it's still trying to do that, of course it takes it a second, but it'll go back to there's your light functions where I can turn up and down on the light functions. And there's also a setting on there, you may have noticed that actually, or actually the gear, that says settings. So when I go into settings, this is where I can choose between Fahrenheit and Celsius on my temperature. We can go from IPI to CPI, which is intermittent pilot ignition or constant pilot ignition. It's reading that I am connected to that. It's showing me Bluetooth, my cloud connection. And if I want to do things like Alexa or Google, this is the place that I would set up a hub. So let's go back to our previous screen. And just one more time, we'll connect back to the unit. And then just one more time, we'll press on. You'll see the embers start to fly. You saw the blue come on. And then off. Hope that helps in getting you connected.